Thundercats, ho everybody. Hey guys, Jay, welcome back to the channel. So guys, this is literally the eve of San Diego Comic Con, at least if you're able to go to the preview night. Tomorrow, tomorrow everybody, we're going to get our first glimpse at what San Diego Comic Con has to offer. And for myself, I am super, super excited and anticipating the first glimpse that we're going to get at the Cat's Lair. And just to keep our appetites wet, would you believe it? Super 7 sent out one last teaser just to get us all ready in anticipation for this event. Guys, let's take a deep dive into this and see exactly what was posted by Super 7 today. If you enjoy this type of content, guys, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up two episodes a week and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. Guys, without further ado, let's take a deep dive into this and recap all of the teases that Super 7 gave to us leading up to San Diego Comic Con. Let's have a look. We're only one day away from finally seeing what many of us have been anticipating for some time. Yes, guys, Super 7 is going to be a huge showstopper this year, I have no doubt, as they are going to be unveiling something absolutely crazy. Heading over to the Facebook page of the official Super 7, scrolling down, we do actually get to their original post for the Cat's Lair. Now, this is actually a few posts in already. They had a lot of teases with silhouettes, and this was the first substantial view of the Cat's Lair. And I gotta tell you, People were freaking out when this was published. This was absolutely insane. And it didn't stop there. Even though Super 7 had all the right to stop here and showcase everything at the show itself, they went ahead and continued to tease us with just a multitude of crazy reveals, including an actual size comparison, which really blew people's minds. This was an absolute ridiculous view of the shoulders of the cats there at the very top and we can see the observation deck here with Lino and with Lino as an Ultimus figure in this scale you can tell just how massive this thing is probably going to be. This would have been more than enough to placate many of us to actually say okay I can't wait until we see this at San Diego Comic Con but no Super 7 continued to tease us and they went ahead and posted this incredible image of the other side showcasing the fact that this will be a clamshell design, very much like play sets of old back in the 80s. We even got to see that there are mountains, yes, mountains, as at the cover of the clamshell, and in front of those mountains was the council chambers of the Thundercats, showcasing just how big this thing really is. I mean, Thundercats are supposed to sit down in this area. It's ridiculous how big this thing actually is going to be. Holy crap, everybody. We saw some other things. There is an opening inside of the lower deck where I believe leads into the actual paw of Cat's Lair, indicating that we might actually be able to put some sort of vehicle in there. Probably not the size of Super 7's Thunder Tank, but perhaps just enough room to fit in an LJN-sized Thunder Tank. That would be absolutely ridiculous. And again, this would have been more than enough for many of us. However, Leave it to Brian Flynn and the team over at Super 7 to give us one more teaser before heading off to San Diego Comic-Con. Yes, indeed, guys. They showcased the other side of Cat's Lair. This was crazy. And I literally lost my mind when it came to this, as did so many others. Opening this image up, we can see what appears to be the right side of the Cat's Lair. Here we can see the Thundrillium cabling which powers the entire lair they look so industrial and they look so amazing i'm seriously freaking out here guys moving down further we can actually see control panels everywhere utilizing that architecture which is a, a bit of a mix between thundarian architecture and burble architecture yes the burbles did build the cat's lair everybody we can even see the continuation of the mountain clamshell beautiful stuff as well Moving down, we do see what appears to be, yes it is, Panthro's Workshop, everybody. Holy crap, check it out. This is absolutely insane. I mean, we see a number of different tools here. 
the Savile Flange, which we found out afterwards with an interview with Geek Dad Life by one of the designers that this Samoflange Flange is actually not included with the set. There is a space for it, but this is actually the Samoflange Flange which is included with the Thunder Tank. So there is a bit of trivia for you. They also have what seems to be a circular saw, the Jaws of freaking life. That's crazy. Some sort of doohickey. I don't even know what that is. A Geiger counter, a detector in it. I don't know what that is. They also have a what appears to be a blowtorch and a couple of different things on the table itself, perhaps a lathe, perhaps a computer console, and this very, very interesting tool, which I have no idea what it is, seems to be some sort of hydraulic uh, device. Very, very cool. The table apparently folds over, or at least appears to be able to fold over, and then we see the rest of the stand itself. This is absolutely crazy. We can also see what appears to be more stonework on the inner sanctum, and somewhat of a doorway guys could that possibly be the chamber for the sword of omens that is something i think all of us were hoping for we can really see the stonework that's actually in place here and if i'm not mistaken i believe this to is probably going to be the sword of omens and weapons room chamber after all in this shot where humra actually passes by the chamber where the sword of omens is being kept we can see all that crazy stonework. As a matter of fact, this room has a secret way of entering it. One of these stones is actually false, and you need to turn them in a specific way to open the chamber. I hope that Super 7 has incorporated something like that here, because that would be absolutely epic. Oh my god, that would be sweet. And housed within this chamber is the Sword of Omens on a pedestal, which also holds the Claw Shield. This is an incredible piece and has been sought after by many collectors. As a matter of fact, there are many Etsy, there are talented people on Etsy who have actually brought this to life. Check this one out, everybody. This is a 3D printed version of the Sword of Omens pedestal where it can sit on top in dagger form as well as the claw shield. You can see just how well it fits with Jaga and is a beautiful piece altogether. This one was created by Etsy creator Cool 3D Prints and Stuff. They do a lot of great 3D modeling and printing. Guys, check them out. I will have a link in the description below for some of their work. This is also a room which can double as the weapons room for all the Thundercats weapons. I'm really excited about this because if we are getting some stretch goals, I'm imagining that some of them will be these items in particular. And that is something I really am looking forward to actually achieving. But it didn't end there. Today, good friends of the channel, Thundercats Classics, on their story, highlighted something very, very interesting. Apparently, there was one last post on Super 7's Facebook page. Thundercats Classics went ahead and said, It's been in plain sight all this time. I see you. This got me intrigued. I was looking at this and saying, Wait a second, I've seen that before. Heading back to Super 7's Facebook page, the latest post is this view of Cat's Lair with the Thundercats logo on top, simply titled Thundercats, It's Time to Come Home, hashtag Super 7, of course indicating that this will be showcased at San Diego Comic-Con under a day. People will be able to get their first glimpses at the full-size Thundercats Cats lair. And this got me thinking, I've seen this image before, and I just had to do a little bit of digging, and lo and behold, on the very last wave that was released for Thundercats, it was literally, as Thundercats Classic said, it was in plain sight all along. There it is, guys. It's staring us right in the face. I touched on this during my review of the four figures released during the wave. And I said to myself, this is absolutely ridiculous. I got to start doing so. I got I to gotta figure out what this thing looks like. So doing a little bit of digging, I collected this image as well as other images in the set. And I started working on this to see a sneak peek into what we might be able to see tomorrow. So I was able to pick up this image, which was actually taken from Wily Cat's hero image. I duplicated it onto the other side and we could see both paws in their exact position. I then went on to blend them into the frame to make it look a little bit better. After that, I took this image, which was actually behind Groon, and I had to do a lot of work in order to try and get the staircase exactly right. But a little bit of finagling and I was able to get something really workable. Duplicating that, I was able to get it 
a little bit more to where I think it was in terms of size, adding a bit more of a mask. Taking this section here, I duplicated that and flipped it to the other side, masking that off slightly again to give it a little bit more clarity, adding more masking to take away Jaga's helmet. And this was pretty much as close as I was able to get because trying to work out what was underneath the Thundercats logo was nearly impossible. But today we were given that little extra piece. This, this was the extra piece that was missing. If I take the work that I had already done and lay this out on top, mask out some of the additional details to try and blend this in a little bit better, we can really start to see this take shape. Rework the staircase, which I had been working on for quite some time. Guys, this, this is pretty much what I consider to be a preview, a glimpse into what we have for tomorrow. And of course, I want to just give it a little bit more oomph, adding some hue and saturation, bringing up the levels. Oh my goodness, everybody. Oh my gosh, this, this is a glimpse at what we could be looking at tomorrow. Let's take a deeper dive into this, guys, because this, this is something truly, truly special. This cobblestone street, of course, is not going to be included with the Thundercats Cats Lair. Scrolling upwards, I like the fact that the staircase is still present, leading up to the first landing and entrance. Once again, I'm going to stress that I think that this entrance is a bit foreshortened, and probably is for the smaller people, the regular folk of Third Earth, to enter to have an audience with Lord Lionel. On that first landing, we can see the wonderful architecture that is created for the, by the Thundercats and the Burbles. It really is a wonderful detail to take in. The Cat Slayer's paws are just absolutely gigantic. And it should be noted that I do believe that this is the case. They will be foreshortened because if we actually had the entire length of the true claws, they would way, way too long to be included in this set. Scrolling upwards, we can see, yes, this is the Cat Slayer that I grew up with. This is the Cat Slayer that I remember as a kid. Oh my goodness, there it is in its glory, everybody. This is amazing. We can see those wonderful ivory towers that lead up to the two bedrooms. And there are probably other rooms which are not visible on this angle. But it's just wonderful to think that on each side of these could be one of the, the Royal Thundercats peering out to see the rest of Third Earth. Looking at the torso, it's just absolutely glorious. Oh my goodness. We see the observation deck entrance, which is now going to be the main entrance as far as I can tell. That wonderful architecture, those rib work that was done, which of course is that wonderful heraldry emulating the style of a sphinx or a type of Egyptian architecture. It really is beautiful in its overall construction. The Burbles really have spared no expense in putting this together. The Thundercat symbol gleaming out into the distance. The collar, which really harkens to an actual cat. These are probably going to be the mountains on the left and the right hand side, which will be included with the set. Cl closing in as a clamshell and completing this incredible piece. Holy crap, everybody. Oh my god, this. This is something I never expected to happen. They are literally just teasing us, and tomorrow we're, fi we're finally going to get our first glimpse at the full Thundercats Cats Lair. What a journey it's been, everybody. This is absolutely insane. From silhouettes to interior shots to the size and scope of this playset to extras that could be included. This has been one hell of a ride that Super 7 has been taking us on. And I'm more than ready to discover exactly what the Super 7 Cat's Lair is finally going to look like. Guys, get yourselves ready. Tomorrow, friends over at Geek Dead Life are going to be showing us something incredible. And I can't wait to celebrate with all of you for this incredible playset coming soon to our collections. Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. Super 7, Brian, everybody there, the team, you guys have made so many Thundercats fans' dreams come true. I cannot wait to see firsthand what this is going to look like because I imagine it's going to be huge. I am so envious of everybody who's actually going to be there in person. You guys are going to see this up close and personal. Please, 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 Take as many photos, take as much video. I need to see this for myself. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. And if you're in a position to help out the channel, guys, please consider checking out my Patreon page. It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons and channel members of this channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week, and I couldn't do without them. They are the best. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. It really means the world to me. Guys, I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Thundercats! Ho! Good journey, everyone. Geek proud.
I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.